my Bigfoot fishing story. So to begin off the entire reason. I'm a believer is because of when I was younger I had what you would call an experience that changes you. But this this happened surprisingly not that long ago, just a half a year ago actually. So I was walking along the river trying to find a good spot where I could reel out and try to catch some fish. That were swimming through the river. I was mainly trying to catch some salmon, cause they were spawning up the way I was going as I thought I found a good spot. I sat down on a log I was setting up my hook and I was getting ready to cast out and I could hear breathing on the other side of the river. Keep in mind the entire distance between from one side of the shore to the other and between the river was a little over 50 to 70 feet. I don't know the exact measurement. But I know that it was more than 50 to less than 70 feet so I could hear breathing on the other side of their coming through the trees. I didn't see anything at first because like the leaves were pretty thick at this time. Even where I was casting out I had to be careful and cast low or my hook would have got stuck in the trees behind me. I had enough coverage on my side that if you were walking on the shoreline on the other side you wouldn't have noticed me whatsoever. I see through like the trees by ducking under cuz there was a branch right above me that was going towards the river. And it was just a big branch filled up with leaves. So it was blocking a good chunk of my view. But I was still able to see because the leaves were fallen off at this time I don't remember precisely when I know that it was shortly before November 22nd of a few years ago. So. Yeah it was fall. And it explains why the leaves are going down. Anyway there was still enough leaves on trees that it was able to block me from seeing clearly and block any more on the other side. From seeing me. Completely so I was casting my line I got a bite. I was reeling in and as I am I get distracted by the sound of splashing on the other side of the river. I ducked low to see what it was and I first thought it was a bear trying to catch fish. It was out there standing on two legs hunched over swatting at salmon that were jumping up towards it from where it was standing up river. Like I did think it was a bear at first cuz it was just ginormous but it stopped and looked at me when I was reeling and trying to get out of there carefully. If it was a bear I didn't want to be in its general vicinity I wanted to get out of there. If it was a bear so I'm reeling in slow as I can try not to make any noise. It stopped what it was doing stood up completely turned and looked at me made a gradable grunt that I could hear it was pretty loud. It booked through the water and started swimming towards me. I could see its arms move up and down I was in shock. I didn't even think about my tackle box or my fishing pole as I dropped it I just turned and ran. I got out of there as quick as I could. I did go back to see if I could get my pole and stuff back. It had stepped on my tackle box it was completely flat and there was blood from some hooks missing they were most likely jammed in its foot. My pole was snapped in half which I wasn't surprised by and there was a rock that I estimated to be the same size as my skull just jammed into a tree. Now I couldn't explain the rock jammed into the tree or the damn thing when it came at me. I thought it was a bear at first and I had only just came back a few hours after that with a friend of mine. Who was packing enough heat that if it was a bear it wasn't going to survive. Like we walked in there and he was scanning the tree lines with his rifle in hand. And we just found my destroyed fishing pole. My crushed tackle box and a big boulder that weighed at least 80 to 90 pounds maybe more like the boulder was taller than me and I'm about 5'9". So that that was something that started my belief. I couldn't explain the boulder being there when it wasn't there the day before. And even my buddy said that it would have been physically impossible to move this boulder to this spot without heavy machinery. That would have taken hours to get up there and even longer to set up because we were on a flat bedded area. Yes the river was like going up. But right where me and him were at this boulder was the hill going up was about 70 feet behind me. The hill going down was another 100 to 120 feet in front of us. Even then it was just a drop down a cliff that you would have to be extremely skilled to climb up. There like me and him had trouble getting up there. 
I had trouble carrying my tackle box and my fishing pole up this little mountain and up at these cliffs. But I wanted a secluded area where I wouldn't be bothered that's the entire reason for the story even happening. Anyway we were looking at this big boulder in confusion cause it wasn't that it wasn't there the other day. I knew that for a fact and it was too big and it didn't look like it belonged to here at all looked like something that you would find in a desert. It was a giant hand rock it made no sense to me then we were hearing just bam. And bam. And then we were hearing another two bangs at another area they were distinct wood on wood. My buddy turned and looked at me and went we need to get out of here there's something out here and it's hunting us. Then we just hear something crashing through the trees coming after us. I immediately didn't care if it was a bluff charger or not. And I patted him on the arm. And said let's get out of here. And we booked it out of there we got to his truck and we drove home. I remember this so vividly to this day and I probably will always. Post from User Practical Volume 6868 at at Reddit.